past her journey. And today, we will be making our way back to the magma caverns and finally seeing what, uh, what that active transport thing is all about. I did not realize I couldn't get back up there when I jumped out last time. Or, or I guess maybe that's something new. Maybe I actually haven't been up there. I thought this is where I came from, but apparently not. But I'm hoping the magma caverns will be where I finally am able to get my grappling hook back. Okay. How do I get back? Is this Jozo Ruins? Okay, so I need to go straight across. Let's see how quickly I can get back. And I'm not even going to deal with you guys this time. Also, thinking about... Oh yeah, I forgot I have to like, explode the toxic stuff on that. That's how I kill it. Um, for when I upload these videos right now, I'm at... This will be my 17th recorded video. Like I've mentioned in a couple other videos, I'm trying to get 25 recorded before I upload. I don't know if that's a good or bad idea, but that's what I'm doing. At least, that's the plan right now. I was thinking I'm going to upload two versions of my videos, one with game audio and one without game audio, because I was looking at some other ASMR artists that do a similar thing to what I'm trying to do, and I noticed that they didn't have any audio. Oh boy, that's a lot of, a lot of beetles. these guys, but they're asking for I'll leave one survivor to warn the rest what happens when you deal with Soma Saran. Um, but I noticed they didn't actually have any gameplay audio. But they are playing games like Grand Theft Auto and things like that, which not that this is the most relaxing game. I think this game is right on the borderline of being a little too action-packed and stressful. They uh, completely muted their game audio, so I am capturing the different audio channels when I record this, so I can edit it in post. So I think I'll upload a version with game audio and a game without game audio, but if that's a stupid idea, please let me know. Just something I've been thinking about. And I've also, I know I've been talking about other games I'm going to play on this channel um, quite a bit, and I think I have the first five down, so working on Metroid, obviously, that's what you're watching right now. I am playing Stardew Valley, oh shit, um, oh shit, and then for the other games, um, there's this game I played a while ago, I didn't get super far in it, I honestly think I like might have pirated the game when it first came out, or something, I can't remember. I remember playing it a little bit and I enjoyed it, but it's called Slime Rancher, so I, that seems like it'd be a game that'd fit well for this type of video. Slime Rancher and Price Slime Rancher too. They're both on sale right now, so I'm gonna buy those, I think. Um, and then 
Astron here. Okay, I'm not going to do that again. Because that's another... Wait, God, how do I get... Oh, I do have to do that again. Or I could just fucking boss it. I'm going to try to boss it. It's just Minecraft because it's a classic. And uh, this kind of sounds like a humble brag, but it's nothing that impressive. But I have been playing Minecraft since it basically came out. Well, I haven't played Minecraft in probably the last time I played it was over a year ago. But I go back to it periodically. But I did start Minecraft when it was in like one of the very first alphas. I remember buying it for like $4. After seeing it, oh shit. One second, back to my story after this. Oh my god. Um, for anyone old enough to remember the, the TV channel or channel on satellite, G4, I remember seeing Minecraft featured on X-Play. And there's barely anything in the game that I think it basically just had zombies and skeletons. And uh, I remember going and buying it, and it was like $4. And I was the first person in my high school to have it. And I remember a guy that I'd recently become friends with had mentioned something about seeing it, so I gave him my password and uh, let him play on my Minecraft for years. And uh, now we're actually one of my best friends but then I remember like no one was into it and then like a year and a half two years later after we would both kind of got bored of it everyone in our high school got super into it and we're like well felt like hipsters were like we were into Minecraft before it was cool so anyway that super long boring story is to say that Minecraft will be the fifth game that I think I'm gonna try but again I want to be very open to feedback from you because that's who these videos are ultimately for. So if those games sound stupid, please let me know. If you're excited about one of those games, please let me know so I can prioritize it more. What the hell is... Oh. exactly what I, oh god, oh god, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, oh my god. Sorry, that was just a bit of a panic attack there. God, I do not like these rollerball sections in general. I think I'm near the active transport though.
Also, I'm not sure if I'm drinking enough in these videos or drinking too much. I don't know if that, you like that, so... Sorry, I asked for so much feedback, but I just want to make sure these videos are as good as they can possibly be. And I do, like I said, plan to do some with chewing gum and maybe some hard candies and stuff. Um, I just typically play these games at night. I'm actually playing in the morning right now. So I'm usually drinking tea and gum does not tend to go well with tea. At least the gum and tea I have. But I think the next video I record after I've finished up my tea for the morning, I'm going to chew some gum. And it looks like we have discovered a new area. The Ventrana Drifts. Am I saying that correctly? Hopefully I didn't miss anything in the other... Back in the magma caverns. Is it possible for me to look at the magma caverns? World map. this before, but for any people interested in audio equipment, I'm using a Shure SM57 microphone, which you have to be very close to talk into, so my mouth is basically right up against it. And I have um, like a windscreen on it, so I think a little fuzz or something got caught on that. to get up to whatever that door is. God damn it. Oh god, I don't have much health left. Stable magma. 
Information is promising. Recommend an energy command. Deactivate central dynamo and switch to geothermal power at once. Local crystal formations possess low phase unrest too. They do have high value to the monks of Grandium. However, recommend processing of crystals for that market once phase on operations cease. Or any signs of magma predator activity to security central at once. Okay, none of that seemed useful at all to what I'm trying to do. I think I need to get up there. Does it wrap around? jump back across. this It's definitely some type of vent thing. to be that vent. But it looks like it goes straight up. I guess uh, that probably reconnects and comes out there. I probably blow that thing out from the back. Okay, whatever. Let's go check out the dress. Based on those tracks and stuff, seems like I'm gonna have to come back here at some point anyway. this new area with oh my god all those respawned fuck now I'm just going to this new area with lay, way less rockets and way less health have some health in here. I was hoping for more than that, but... I 
guess I'll take what I can get. Actually, really excited to get back into Slime Rancher. I've when did I play that game? I must have played it in 2016 or 2017. I can't imagine why I would have pirated it. I don't typically pirate games, but maybe as a free trial or something. I don't know. I remember. I remember I got it by some weird means, and I don't even think it was completed. It might have still been. Access. Um, so I, I didn't get super far in it, but I remember it being a, a pretty fun and enjoyable game, and I think it had a lot of exploration elements, kind of like this, where you need to get like a new unlock to discover a new area, then you get there, and then there's, yeah, just a very good sense of progression, and the slimes are cute, and it's very satisfying. Let's try to scan some of these. Flicker bat scavenger with optical camouflage that renders it invisible to the naked eye. Flicker bats are deceptive creatures. The only way to track them reliably, reliably is with X-ray imaging. They fly, ceaselessly hunting insects and other small prey that flock on the air currents. Flicker bats tend to fly in cyclical hunting patterns using primitive sonar. any reason that I would want to kill them. Should probably use your camouflage. Well, that didn't help. Oh, they drop rockets, so I guess there's a reason for me to ruthlessly murder them. Platforms kept a lot by a guy. 
Samus gets a flamethrower. I know she has one in Smash. There we go. This is what I need right here. We're only 26 minutes in, so... We will continue on. Good time for a little tea break. Support personnel. All plastic support personnel report to Research Lab Hydra. Lockdown containment plan 3A in effect until further notice. Well, that sounds like a boss I'm gonna need to fight is probably the cause of that. Lockdown. Western Temple is in phase 2 lockdown. All projects are postponed. Under no circumstances are personnel to attempt access. Personnel must report to the South Research Facility. Failure to report will be penalized by a 30% ration cut and extra duty. Harsh. actually anything in the water in any of these maps. Can't imagine they would add that and not use it to some capacity. something in the Chozo overworld that I'm supposed to get before coming here. I bet I need the double jump. Shit. Let me look at the map. Magma Cavern, Chozo Ruin, Talent Overworld. Go back and get the double jump. Mm -hmm. 
sadist or minor drinkers watching people get annoyed in this video will be right up your alley. And if that is the case, that's somewhere in the talent overworld. That means I was at the right spot at the beginning of this video and I've literally accomplished nothing since. I don't even understand what, what the heck is the point of that box. I don't understand why that one's there. shock is really annoying. Okay. Give me some power-ups. Let's get that double jump. Or grappling hook or something. This music this one specifically, but the music at the end of the video definitely gave me some Pokemon music vibes. I wonder if um, they had any composers that overlap between those franchises. That just reminded me of uh, the game Pokemon. Pokemon Stadium was a good game. I wonder if I could find it. I'm sure I could find an emulator for that. I wonder if someone is, uh, I think there's a Pokemon Stadium too, which would actually, I never played it, but that'd be sick because, uh, I got into Pokemon. My first Pokemon game was, uh, Silver, and I think Stadium 2 added all the Johto Pokemon, so that be awesome. I wonder if um, someone has remade that game or has like emulated it and updated the graphics at all. I'm gonna look into that after this because that'd be pretty cool and maybe I'll play that. Oh, yeah, there's something in this room. Did I even go back here? Oh, I need the spider rail system. Pokemon Stadium 2 
emulator that's easy to set up. That might also be coming to this channel, just an idea off the top of my head. I haven't bought any of the recent Pokemon games. The last Pokemon game I played was uh, Let's Go Pikachu. Which that's crazy that that came out. 2019 now, so... basically accomplished nothing in the past 39 minutes of this video, so I apologize for that. Let's see, I guess I'll make this one a little bit longer, just to uh, hopefully accomplish something. Okay, let's, literally 40 minutes later, coming back to where I first started. save stations, I just get my health back, but if I save at my ship, I get everything back. That's good to know. No, I don't want to save again. And can I not still not access any of these freaking doors? supposed to discover this before all the other areas. A new pirate data entry has been downloaded to your logbook. Space pirate encrypted data decoded. Log 10 3080. Field teams reports are in on 
on an aged structure of alien design. Built on the surface of Talon IV, the study showed that this structure projects a containment field. So this field bars access to a prime source of energy within a deep crater. Science teams believe the field is powered by a number of strange Chozo artifacts. We have found some of these relics and studies on them have begun. As this field could hinder future energy production operations on Talon IV, we must dismantle it as soon as possible. If this means the destruction of the Chozo artifact, it will be done. Who are these space pirates? Sounds seem like very good guys and gals. Or genderless beings. I'm not sure what what these space pirates are, so don't wanna don't wanna assume anything. This is giving me Samus Pfizer vibes right here. Interesting. Hopefully that contains some type of power up. Chosa lore entry. Throughout our living nightmare, as we battle with this unyielding darkness, we chose to see a light. This light glows with promise, chasing the shadows cast by the great poison and purifying that which has grown toxic. It is strange, though at times it looks to our eyes as if the light coalesces into the figure of a woman burning brightly. The luminescence descends from space, then retreats back into the infinite blackness from whence it came. When this prophecy comes to pass, when the light recedes, the Chozo's long vigilance of containment will finally come to an end. I mean, I did already kill that plant thing, so is that what they're talking about, or is there other poisonous... This task has fallen to the Chozo, and we will not flee from our duty, even as we suffer with the land and its creatures. We will pour our will into the twelve, the artifacts which form the lock that hold this great evil at bay in the depths of the planet. This lock must stand up to all who might come to assault it to preserve the power of the seal and to protect it from those who would meddle for their own designs. We will spread the artifacts across the land, hiding them from prying eyes. The lock must never open until the day comes when this disaster can finally be put right. Grove of life lies. 
feel the pillar beneath the waves to find the artifact of Chozo. Seems like maybe that thing with the seals that I haven't been, been able to unlock yet. Invaders have claimed Pandara as their own. A tower sits atop the fortress, collapse it to reveal the chamber where the artifact of the Elder is held. A new There's a tower within the ruins where light always shines, move through the water. The water is there to find artifact of life giver. Within our, within the ruins of our home, we honor our fallen elders in a great hall, a chamber beneath the statue, holds the artifact of world. A tall cave stands at Pandara's edge, seek the unseen entrance at its top to find the artifact of spirit. Have I scanned all these things? Okay, most in clues didn't seem the most enlightening, but I'm sure I'll find them again. This was a uh, this game was made for kids, so hopefully I can figure it out. Seems like this game is going to be decently long. What do I have? I already have almost five hours into it. And I still think I'm pretty early along since I haven't even regained the abilities I had at the beginning of the game. Okay, well, that didn't give me anything. Abilities. Let's see if I can access any of these other doors in this area. Okay, let's can I music right here like reminds me of Lavender Town in the Pokemon games. Okay, I feel like I was supposed to have probably discovered that door when I was here originally, but let's see if there's a, any other pathway that I can This music right here also reminds me of Pokemon. My ball form, okay. Nice, I wasn't able to go through here until 
I got the ball. And the missile launcher. What the fuck is that? Oh, those space pirates. This crate appears to be the same type of container found on the space pirate research frigate. The material seeping out from the ruptured metal is highly toxic analysis. Indicates that this may be the phase on compound the space pirates are using in their biological experiments. Flying pirates, pirates trained and equipped for airborne assault. The flying pirates are extremely agile in the air, but the heat signatures of their jetpacks can be tracked with thermal imaging. Uh, their missiles are extremely potent. Their jetpacks can be even more so. If the pack fails, they'll make a suicide strike. Oh, nice. My missiles trace them. Sick. Oh. Fucking cowards. underwater I really can't swim in this suit I can turn into a ball but I can't swim something super obvious again. I, I continually miss obvious stuff in this game, I'm starting to realize. like supposed to be hints is this because I'm like taking so long or like what triggers these things to randomly pop up
this now, but I'm really gonna try to avoid Googling anything for this game. If kids could do this in 2002 or 2004, whenever that game came out, with barely any internet, I should be able to do this without any internet. Is there something in the chest of ruins I haven't done yet? seem like I can't unlock that yet. Hey, I'll, might as well. Yeah, I'm at an hour and I'm going to save and uh, hopefully we'll accomplish more in the next video. But thank you for sticking with me through this one. I know this one was uh, a little anticlimactic and boring, but we increased my missile capacity by like five and went to a new region and found some story stuff, so I guess not completely uneventful, but yeah, hopefully the next one will be a lot better, and uh, you get another hour-long video out of this one, so I guess that's a good, a good plus if we're looking at the positive side, but again, thank you for spending your time with me. Please like and subscribe if you like this and would like to see more videos from me, and uh, I hope you have a nice night, and I will see you again soon. Bye.